how to create infinite logo carousel in Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to create an infinite uh, logo carousel into your Wix uh, Studio website. It is going to be very easy and simple. I'm going to show you in this video two methods. So we are going to head over wix.com, sign in for an account and then we are going to see the site's dashboard. Select the website that has the label of built on Wix Studio on it. Click on select and edit site. Once you have did that, we're going to see the Wix Studio dashboard and we're going to make sure that we are going to be on the setup or the homepage. Click on design site and we are going to find the website editor opened up. Now, what are we going to do? It is going to be very simple. We are going to head over a, a section or an empty section. I can go ahead and create an empty section. So like this one, it is going to be uh, composed for a strip and we can go ahead and have the uh, logo uh, carousel created. I'm going to add a new section. This section is going to be uh, empty for a little bit of time. I'm going to add an element for it. And from these elements, we're going basically to add images. So we are going to add an image. I'm going to have it right there. So, and I'm going to duplicate this image by um, having the click or the uh, left or right click on the uh, as you can see here on the image we're going to have the duplicate or control D so you can go ahead and press control D like that I'm going to press control D that is going to duplicate it like that and we are going to add another one or the last one have it just like this and boom like that and we're going basically to have them all stacked together and as you can see we are going to have them right there now what can we do is basically to have the image changed for each one of the uh, other ones to the logo that we want basically i'm not going to have here some logos or we can go ahead and have let's say or try to have some logos i'm going to have this one so let's see, we're going to have this. Maybe also we're going to have another one, change the um, specific one like that, update. I'm going to change for this to change the image to this. And the final one is going to be the first one, of course. So we're going to change it to something else. Update and boom. Now we are going to have this, uh, as you can see here, stack moved. So it is going to be moving around. Basically, I'm going to have the stack. I'm going to move it like that. Let only the first one appear right there. And we're going to have the control D for this whole section. So I'm going to have it placed right there. And we're going to have this one with that stack also stacked. And we're going to have this like that. And I'm going to duplicate also the stack. So we're going to have a little bit of a stack put here and there. So and for this also, I'm going to stack them all together. Now we are going to apply some effects. I'm going to open up the inspector, the element inspector. And uh, I'm going to make sure that the stack is going to be right there. Click on animations. Now we're going to head over the loop and click on add. We're going to have the cross. I'm going to set up the cross just like that. And I'm going to uh, set up the animation to a little bit of fast in here. I'm going to preview it just like that. And this is going to have the delay. For the delay, I'm going to have it right here. So what I'm going to do basically is to head over here to the section, to uh, the specific, as you can see here, uh, loop. I'm going to remove the effect. Maybe you're going to ask why, because we have some uh, empty space right there set up. We're going to get rid of that empty space or we can go ahead and try. So I'm going to press control D. 
and it is going to give us here the uh, normally the right amount so like that and we are going to uh, stack them all together we're going to repeat the process have the loop add cross wait for it and normally it is going to be like that so i'm going to have the effect just like that and here we have it so that is pretty much it so you can go ahead and add another uh let's say here a fabric or not the fabric but basically you can go ahead and add another carousel added from here and there so until we are going to find the uh, gap so like that so we can go ahead and duplicate it another time so but make sure that you're going to delete the specific uh, let's say effect so I'm not going to do that I'm going to let it as it is we can only see the uh, as you can see the animation we're going to preview it just like that and here we have it so that was the first method now the second method is going to be having a help of a little bit of the uh, third party app which is going to be off site we have here widgets we're going to head over the tools and we're going to say or search for the logo showcase click on it now we are going to create a widget for free i have already created a widget and it is going to be something like this so i'm going to let you see it this is going to be the infinite as you can see showcase for the logo you can add logos from here set up a header uh, or add a header add a call to action button set up the uh, layout to only ticker not a carousel a ticker since it is going to be like that you can set up some ticker settings slow uh, as you can see fast whatever you want you can pause and hover like that or not then you can control all the width, logo size, spacing, mobile behavior in random order. For size, you can modify the fonts, background, logo size, and etc. When you finish, click on publish. Click on install. Have this code copied. Head over your Wix uh, Studio website. Select embed and social. Click on embed code and add to site just like that and we are going to find it added in just a few seconds only it is going to be added right there so if you do not find it you can go ahead and drag and drop it by yourself here now i'm going to make it as wide as possible enter code click on it select that code delete it paste your code click on update wait for a few seconds and boom i'm going to uh increase the little bit of the width and also the height and here you have it these are going to be the two options that you can implement into your wix studio website to have the infinite logo showcase or the carousel as you can see and also you can go ahead and have a part of this as you can see uh, we have this one or that one I am going to let you see how we can add those. So I'm going to be back right there. So if you're going to take a look to the elements, you can go ahead and head over the uh, specific, uh, let's say here, uh, maybe you're going to have the wireframes. Not maybe not the uh, wireframes, but you're going to have some of the uh, special tools that you're going to have. So I'm going to let you see here uh, wherever I have. So it is going to be uh, in a shape or not a shape, but a as a marquee. So these are going to be uh, named as marquee sliders or marquees. So we are going to search for them. Text. These are going to be text marquee, as you can see, and you can add some little bit of logos in here. So these are going to be added just like that. So I'm going to delete my text and we are going to have it from here. So this case is going to be for the logos who has been uh, added as, let's say, as words like that. And as you can see, if you are going to click on the element inspector, you can go ahead and head over here and you're going to find from here the specific uh, as you can see separator 
The separator is going to be also changed to a logo. If you're going to find or upload a logo from here, you can go ahead and have it like that. So let's see if we're going to find some logos in here. You can go ahead and add your image as a separator and add it as a logo. So it is going to be having this specific marquee text at a put in here and there. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.